These quick start tutorials are made using Marvelous Designer 11 and its new UI. If you would like to learn the software versions below 10, please visit our YouTube channel. For your convenience, every tutorial is made using the regular mouse settings. You can access the modular configurator from any of the window drop-down tabs. Every single window has a drop-down tab that can open the modular configurator. This is the default folder configuration. The most you will use are the men's and women's blocks. Let's select the women's folder. Here are the default pattern blocks from jackets to trench coats. Selecting the shirt folder, this contains two options for short or long sleeves. As you can see with the long sleeve default block, it has all these different iteration options for basic shirt designs. Let's close out of here and make one. First, import your avatar into the scene, female avatar, and double click to bring her into the scene. Next, we go to the pose folder for this avatar and select the attention pose. They have their arms at their sides. This is important to pick the correct pose and I will explain why soon. So select that attention pose and choose pose only. Going back to that library window and changing it back to the modular configurator. Selecting women's, t-shirts, and I am picking a rounded neck and short sleeves. You can choose whichever one you want you can even change it to a long sleeve if you don't like what you choose. And here, we're pretty much done. So here is why the pose is important. If you were to select any other pose, even that A pose, those blocks were not saved in that pose, only the attention pose. So you will encounter collision issues if you do not use arrangement points or move them to fix them. So let's change our pose to the lower A pose as an example. Going back to the modular configurator and picking the women t-shirts folder again. When you bring in the garment, you will see that it fits the body, but if you select the sleeves, you can already see that the short sleeve is colliding with the avatar. While the first time we did this, it did not. And a stronger example is with the long sleeves. They are fully colliding with these arms. This is something you want to avoid. So to fix this, either move the pattern onto the avatar using the arrangement points, or make sure that your avatar is in the correct position made for these garments that you're using. For the male and the female blocks, it will be the attention pose. Going back to the correct pose with the long sleeve shirt on, let's take a look at that 2D window. You can see the dark outlines. Those are modular frames or boxes. If we hit the B hotkey, you can see that the sewing relationships exist within those boxes, so you do not have to create them yourself. If you try to make any changes to your patterns, the modular frames will accommodate those changes. As you can see, they grew, and checking the 3D window, the pattern changed to match the edits in the 2D window. This is not specific to modular blocks. This is just to show that when you make changes, you do not delete the modular blocks. Let's reset this view again. Once you are done making changes, right-click in the 2D window and choose Remove Modular Relationship. If you keep the frame or modular relationship in your scene and you decide you want to use a different base, it is very easy to change. Since the frames are already in place, go back to the modular configurator and select any different garment. Selecting the jacket as an example, I can pick a subtype and it changes the garment that I was working with. See how the jacket sleeves appeared and the t-shirt pieces disappeared? This is useful if you want to change your mind and use a different base. But if you did that by mistake and had wanted to layer the jacket onto the shirt, you did lose all of that work. Instead, swapping it back to the long sleeve t-shirt and right-clicking in the 2D window and removing that modular frame. This is why when you're done with the modular configurator assets, make sure to remove the modular relationship. Now that I have removed those frames, I can add the jacket into the scene and have my clothing items layered. And that is a quick start on how to use the modular configurator and the default assets. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe for more tutorials for Marvelous Designer. And if you have any more questions about our software, feel free to comment down below, check out our website, form, or Discord channels linked in the description.